Hi, my name is Dr. Terry Zachary. I'm the developer of the Handmaster Plus. I've been uh, reading and listening to a lot of experts in different sports and music training applications talk about uh, hand exercise and, and uh, strengthening muscles of the hand. And I really want to point out that uh, I think a lot of this information is just archaic, um, not, not accurate. And the good thing about the internet is we can all talk about uh, different points of view and see what is the best. So I, I do welcome people to watch this video, hear what we have to say, and then um, you know look at all other opinions and make up your own mind. Hand exercise is a vital, vital area. Um, the strength, the fitness, the wellness of your hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, carpal tunnel, fingers, thumb, they're all dependent on the balance of the muscles that close your hand compared to the muscles that open your hand. So I want to explain really quickly, there are nine muscles that most even experts are completely ignoring and they're the nine muscles that are on the back of your uh, fingers, thumb, hand, wrist, uh, all the way forearm, all the way to elbow, all the way to the elbow. The same, of course, opposite is true as the nine muscles that close your hand are all basically in the front of your elbow, um, forearm, wrist, carpal tunnel, fingers, and thumb and hand. Okay, very important to know those basic facts. Now, of course, if you're, uh, you know, if you're a fitness expert, if you're a therapist, if you're a chiropractor, you're going to know some more details than that, or you might want to review your details uh, as you look at this video. But in general, the nine muscles that close the hand and the nine muscles that open the hand very much work in concert with each other uh, in a kinetic chain in the grip. And it's important to know that or just think about it a little bit because of what we're going to tell you about the stability of the finger's thumb, hand, wrist, carpal tunnel, and elbow. And nowadays in our modern society with so much gripping going on, cell phones, computers, video gaming, you know, sports, music, workplace, <clears throat> excuse me, in the workplace, we see dental professionals, um, mechanics, uh, cashiers, anybody that works in a regular gripping, especially, um, you know, you know, relatively strong gripping or small items or vibrating items, palm down. There's a lot of things to learn that if we understand the grip mechanics, we understand how important it is to train for our job or for our activity or for our pursuit for performance. Um, and for injury prevention. So really simply, the nine muscles that open your hand are the extensor muscles and the abductor muscles. Those are the spreading muscles. So those muscles usually think about traditional hand exercise. We've been thinking about these coiled grippers or spring-loaded grippers or taking a tennis ball. When I was a kid growing up in golf, I was told just take a tennis ball and squeeze it. And it seemed to make sense to me until I started to study it and see injuries from my athletes and my musicians, started to see that this whole concept needs a, a complete um, overhaul. So what what I want to talk to you about is we can talk, we can show you some things we've done on uh, in our pursuit of proving this mechanical idea. We have taken, we have done a bunch of EMG, which means we take muscle fire patterns for the extensor muscles as well as the flexor muscles as we have various athletes, uh, musicians, workers in different workplace environments uh, doing their job. And we show how there is a co-contraction. The muscles that open the hand are contracting just as much as the muscles that close the hand when we're gripping something. This is a simple basic kinetic chain. And what it means is, is the muscles that open the hand contract to stabilize the muscles that close the hand. Now if they didn't, and whenever I contracted to do something, if they didn't, the hand would just fall flat. It would still be, in, the fingers would be in flexion, but the extensor muscles, you know, would, if they let go, they would just, uh, the whole process would fall flat. So it is a kinetic chain. It has to be, our EMGs prove that it is. That being the case, whenever we grip, which we're mostly in grip, if I'm a golfer, if I'm a guitar player, um, if I'm a a dental hygienist is a really big one. Cashiers are big ones in, in the fact that they're gripping all the time. When I grip, these muscles that open the hand are contracting statically, meaning in one position or a small range of motion, not through their full range of motion, through a static range of motion, 
the whole time. And you can look. If you can see, whenever I grip something, these muscles back here contract, but not through a full range of motion. If they did contract through a full range of motion, it looks like that. Okay? So those muscles, to be perfectly healthy, need to be exercised through their full range of motion, which is that. Okay? So that's how you keep all these nine muscles healthy. And if you think about it, we're in the modern era, and there's nine muscles in our body that are there by nature's design that we are not paying any attention to. That in itself makes no sense. But now when we can equate it to all the imbalance from repetitive gripping, um, just, you know, just through daily habits or through our work or sports or music or our hobby. And then we're also, when we, when we um, consult our, our fitness professional or our healthcare professional, they're also telling you to grip something. It just makes no sense. It's, it's, it's akin to your posture and somebody with um, poor posture having somebody tell you to slouch more. That's about the exact same mechanics. So we developed Handmaster Plus because of the idea that when we were working with these mechanics, we would show patients four or five separate exercises that would train all the muscles that spread the hands and the muscles that would open the hand as well as the muscles that close the hand. We would give them four or five exercises, they wouldn't do it. So in looking for a solution to that, where we know the mechanics need to be proper, where we train the muscles that open and spread the hand, we developed that product so that it can be done very easily. You don't have to understand any mechanics. The athlete or patient just has to know, I need to close my hand, I need to open and spread my hand. And you just do that continuously until you feel comfortable fatigue. And this way we can keep those fingers, thumb, hand, wrist, carpal tunnel, forearm and elbow in balance. The fact that we see so much tennis elbow in this day and age, especially in the baby boomers who've been doing these poor mechanics all their life, we're seeing so much tennis elbow, so much uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, and we're seeing a lot of the quare veins problem, which is, a, which is a thumb problem, same mechanics. Now, as we start to teach people to train both the muscles that stabilize, which is the hand opening muscles, and the muscles that are the action muscles, as you do those, we get maximum blood flow, maximum muscle tone, and we're more prepared for that repetitive uh, grip environment. If you want to find out more about Handmaster Plus, just go to handmasterplus.com. You can purchase there. Um, we have uh, many different purchase op options, uh, but you can get more information there. If you need to ask us any questions, just send us an email to info at Thanks for listening.